Oh. Hi there, and welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today, we're going to take a look at a special type of recording technique, something I think that it is rather impressive with the results that it, it achieves if properly done and properly listened. Want to know what it is? Coming up, guys. Go. Okay, so you've guessed it. Today we're going to talk about binaural recordings. What are binaural recordings? Uh, maybe you already heard something like that. There's also a very famous Pearl Jam album, which actually it's not a coincidence. It is called like this way, binaural, for a specific reason. Binaural is a stereophonic type of recording, though with a uh, increased type of 3D reconstruction of the sound stage. Why is that? Very simple, because they use uh, a dummy, in most cases a head or a, a figure with shoulders and everything, with very high quality microphones inserted inside the ears of the dummy, recreating that way how the sound impacts on a, on a, on a, on a human um, a body, and in the same time reflects on the microphones. Only two, as humans listen here, only with two um ears and at the same time they're using two high quality microphones usually set in in the middle of the context where um people are playing and this um actually started in the eight and the late 1800s which slowly developed and um was used was adopted by several musicians several um uh, even rock bands as you as you've seen like as i said pearl jam um a few of the songs here, in fact, are recorded with a binaural process. What is important to know is that binaural process, binaural recording, uh, is optimized, is practically conceived for headphones. Yes, I mean, the, the maximum results, the full experience is achieved with a pair of good quality headphones, reaching possibly the, the whole spectrum or a, a big portion of the frequency spectrum. So you gotta leave, you gotta we gotta put on your, your your headphones. Put them on now if you do not have them on because we're gonna listen to a few things in a while. So as I was saying, binaural by Pearl Jam. Uh, if you open the booklet, because I'm sure a lot of you have this album, it's fantastic. There are a few albums with a little um mark here next to it. Those are binaural recordings. And this is one of the most famous, actually, examples, because it comes from a famous rock band. But this was done uh, much earlier. Also, the, the Rolling Stones made an album, a, a live album, actually, which may be your uh, flashpoint, where you, maybe you're, you do not hear the characteristics of a binaural recording in such a booming, wide context. I think the specific types of uh, albums of, of instruments require that kind of recording. Not everything is good for binaural recordings, I think at least. But for example, here we have a uh, great album from the 70s. Um, uh, can, Flow Motion. And um, this is a very st strange kind of rock, reggae, experimental album, which was done, which was recorded with a binaural process. Sometimes you can... Um, uh, locate, understand if the recording is binaural because a lot of times you see this little drawing of a head of a, um, which is kind of uh, the symbol of what is a binaural recording. So, um, going back in time, we could say we have other fantastic recordings. For example, also, as you can imagine, uh, classical music was also done with this type of recording procedure. For example, this is one of the most famous of all, the Les Sacres du Printemps, um, the, uh, with, the, with the Rite of Spring and uh, all the different parts of Stravinsky. I mean, this is fantastic. 
but the Pasadena Symphony, uh, conducted by Mester. And this was actually issued, this is a reissue, issued on a 24 karat gold CD in a limited edition. It was something special for the time. Although I must admit that, I mean, classical music, especially when we're talking about symphony orchestras, are usually re already recorded with just two microphones, not that much, because obviously we have too many instruments that are all coming towards us. So you're, you're gonna use just, as I said, very, very few microphones. Uh, I mean, I think that um, the recordings made, for example, by um, the, the ones we, we, we discussed about of Mercury Living Presence, here's a link, are much better than the than this actually than this example. So binaural recording isn't always perfectly fitting, I must admit. Um, there's also another um, series of recordings. For example, this one of the the Zenf reperformance. This is very this is very strange um, type of uh, of albums they're doing. I don't know if you know these. Um, they take the original recordings because we have the recording of Rachmaninoff for uh, plays Rachmaninoff. And they process it in a computer, which practically gathers all the information, sends it out to, um, uh, I don't know, uh, electronic, electronic gear, which is supposed to recreate with modern instruments the precise exact way he plays, in this case, piano. And that we, and therefore we can record it with high quality um, audio, high fidelity, because the original Rachmaninoff plays Rachmaninoff, which I do have, it's a fantastic album. The sound obviously is very poor quality. So this is a cool idea. And they also did it in a binaural way, which is kind of useless, I think, especially because we're talking about one instrument. You need a series of instruments to have that 3D reconstruction. So some experiments, some um, kinds of albums, I don't think are very, are very um, well chosen or well conceived, we could say. A very good example instead, which I highly recommend, um, is this one by Otmar Lieber and Luna Negra. This is a very nice album. Uh, we could almost say acu acoustic. We're just a few instruments. And as you can see, they illustrate how they use the dummy, which kind of microphones they used. Here's the little logo. And this, as you can see, headphones only, guys. I mean, this is risky to do because obviously a lot of people are gonna think, whoa, pff, only with my headphones? No way, I'm not gonna spend money on that. And it's not true. I mean, obviously it's better with your headphones, but you can obviously and naturally listen it also on your hi-fi system, no problem at all. The best is headphones. But we're gonna come up now to the best series, which got me back into this type of recordings and got my interest again in uh, uh, in binaural uh, albums, binaural uh, processing, which, what am I talking about? We're talking about by the albums created by Chesky, Chesky Records. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Um, this is a guy with a whole group, which is doing fantastic recordings since the 90s, I think, um, especially high quality jazz recordings, which are uh, undergo very, if not any, type of processing, of compression, of degradation of the, uh, of the digital sound. So their productions are fabulous, fabulous. They're fantastic. Look for them if you don't know them. And they have a whole line dedicated to um, uh, binaural recordings, which are, are also sponsored and um, described by our good fellow Steve Guttenberg, which he also has a channel, fantastic channel. Um, here we have a very special CD. You can find this also in high resolution and on HD tracks. I'll put all the links of this stuff I'm showing you here below in the video description. Um, this is practically a demonstration disc and test disc, we could say. There's a good selection on disc number one of different kinds of recordings they did, which I'm gonna show you something now in a while. Um, very high quality, extremely high quality. I mean, they're so enjoyable, it's amazing. And on the other CD, this may help, this may be uh, interesting for you if you're interested in testing headphones and the, the, the level of compression, uh, lower frequency, higher frequencies, etc. is the second CD where you have a lot of tracks trying to uh, 
stress we could say your headphones in that in that um all all um commentated by steve guttenberg so for example i decided to after buying this go a little more in depth and uh listening to the the, the various um albums i highly suggest two kinds for um for jazz i would like to suggest this which among, apart from being a high quality binaural recording, this is also a fantastic album which got a lot of recognitions and, and awards. It's a famous jazz album, which where we, where we featuring David Chiske himself inside playing. Um, he did a lot of uh, the piano, a lot of, he plays the piano mainly in, the, in his albums. He did a lot of, uh, of albums. These have been recently released just a few years ago and in within this binaural uh, series and these are great what you n must know is that these types of recordings highly rely on ambience so if you do not like reverberation you do not like to hear um space between instruments then maybe these are not for you we're going to we're going to listen to something now and I'm going to put something to down uh, for download also here in the video description. So take a listen to these. But I just want to mention this because um you hear a lot of space of ambience of rever reverberation um coming from all over the place which enhances the naturalness of the sound, I think. And last but not least, actually my favorite record maybe of this binaural uh, series is this album here of Amber Rupert, Sessions from the 17th Ward. And the quality of this, guys, is amazing. When I put this CD and I had my my um, headphones on, I, all of a sudden I said, oh shit, I forgot, I, I didn't set um, my headphone uh, um, uh, switch. I thought I had my uh, loudspeakers on. It was incredible. The, the reconstruction of the soundstage, the way the music impact on my ears was 100% natural. I truly thought I was hearing something coming from the room and not from my earphones, headphones. Obviously, I must say that I have a very high quality pair of headphones, which uh, are not just normal dynamic headphones. They're open back and they are magnetic planner headphones which is a special kind of technology, not, not the common one you would find, as I said, in a dynamic pair of headphones. So that will help a lot, but that doesn't matter. I mean, you don't have to have who knows what, even a good, decent pair of headphones, dynamic headphones closed, closed back, no problem. Experiment, try, because you're gonna have fun. Okay, so as I said, this is one of the best. I'm gonna put a track or two now here and let me know what you think of. I'm, oh, I'm also going to put an HD uh, track of this in download. So you can hear it in full 24-bit um, resolution by 20, 20, uh, 192 kilohertz of sampling rate. Okay? Okay. Let's hear. Okay, cool guys, I hope you enjoy this. Um, please, please write in your comments suggestions on cool binaural albums you are finding, you are, uh, you, you're gonna find in the next months, you know about, um, please, I'm interested in this and I'm, it's, it's, there are not that many out there. So if you 
signal some of these, you, you suggest some of these in the video description, in the comments, um, that would be fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And at this point, I just can say Merry Christmas to all, and we are truly wish you a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Ciao!